Good day guys, this is Lozana speaking and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in today's tutorial, we'll be learning on how to clone two images. So I have two images of myself here. So we select it to click and drag it to Photoshop. Alright, the two is selected. I have number one and my number two image. So let's drag this number two to the first one. And then we have it here. Um, let's delete this. So I have the two images in one um, particular workspace in Photoshop. Alright, so the first thing to do in all your projects is first of all to go and save it. So we click on File, click on Save As, and then we name this to be Lodzona Clone. Now we click on Enter. Alright, okay, and then let's um rename this uh, i like the first one above to be lot zona one lot zona one and then rename the second one by also coming to the layer and then double click and then we type lot zona two all right then um the next thing is let us create a background below them so let's close the eye of this and the eye of this and then um, we hold our control and click on create a new layer so you can create a layer below the last layer here that's why i held my control and, and then click in my new layer which i should delete this being on the last layer i click on new layer the layer creates above lozona 2 but i want this layer below here so you can also just click and drag below all right so we're going to come to the adjustment layer click on solid color and we select let just select this color then we click on okay bring back this uh, you see the reason why we've created that so we can actually have difference with this background and this background when we cut out an image so secondly is let's try and position these two images how it should be first um Let's take this layer two or Lozona two up and then move it to the left and then we reduce the opacity so you can actually from the layer zona to see the Lozona one so you can now perfectly fit it on how it should be. Okay. I hope you can see this. Is okay with me. Alright, um let's holding down your control, make sure Lozona is select Lozona is selected and then holding down control to click on Lozona one. You can select the two of them at the same time and move it to the middle. Yeah, yes. Okay, let's bring down the uh ruler here and let's try and make sure that these two are in the same position. So one ruler at the head of one of them, which is the Lozona one, and then the other ruler at the bottom of Lozona one. So we just be using Lozona's one uh, height to fit in Lozona two. So let's try and make it these two different images to actually be in the same position, and it will look like these are identical twin and growing together maintaining the same um, height okay this is fine and then we click on okay this is okay then we move the layer the ruler back to where it's supposed to be and then we bring back the opacity of Lozona 2 fully but I noticed that the back of Lozona 2 this is too popped out I would like to push it in so in doing that, you make use of the Lupify to make sure Lozona 2 is selected, go to filter, and then click on Liquify. Yes. So we make sure it's expanded, and then you carefully push the back inside. I feel like it's popped out too much. This is okay. I think this is fine. Click on okay. Alright, so 
let's see the before and after this is the before this is the after this is okay all right so the second thing we'll be doing here is to max out uh, our image let's select ourselves when this when this tutorial will be filling up other earlier areas with the background color we have here so let's select this by make sure you selected I'm going to select and click on select objects so the ai of the photoshop will automatically select the um, subjects in this uh, image it is selected this is fine all right um but this place is selected inside so how to remove the selection by clicking here let's make it at the last two and making sure it's in the plus sign and then we remove the selection here and also remove this add this selection sorry out of this one yeah all right so now click on mask this is fine automatically is close to his product <laughs> all right let's move this to this place i like it i like it mm -hmm. I like move it a little bit back or it just be like closer pushing a little bit fine okay this is already looking fine yes so the next thing i feel we should be doing right now is to cut out here this background here uh -oh. is not needed there so let's carefully select part of my leg and let's make it of the polygon to click zoom in more and then we start selecting by carefully going through the edge of my link okay and we go through this way all right and then we click on mask we maxed out was another how to invert the maxim by just clicking on ctrl i okay this is fine so no worries we're going to be filling up here with this background and in doing that let's copy lozona 2 bring it below lozona 1 close the eye of lozona 1 and lozona 2 but this time around we would like to bring back the background and remove my image by going to the mask and then clicking on ctrl i all right we have this so we make use of this background to fill up the other areas that doesn't have the ash background and uh, we know in filling it up we don't need this part so uh, you have to clean up this part by clicking on our brush going to the max making sure the foreground color is from black and then we clean up this area that we don't want and this area as well yes i can still see my leg here so you can wipe it out as well even this chair you wipe it out and let's convert it to smart object by clicking here clicking on convert to smart object you can rename it to be background all right so we bring back the lozona one and lozona two then the background is below we just move the background to the edge this way so i believe you already have understood what we are trying to do here all right so i need to cover up my leg this way okay this is fine and then going back to lozona one let's use brush and max in some parts by making sure we bring our brush and it's not going to be on the foreground anymore 
and the the black color here you should move it to white so you can to bring it bring back some color black is to clean up why white color is to add all right i think i'm making a tutorial on how to make use of the brush okay i like this already um the next thing is to also use background here is this okay the background here Lozona. So let's max out. Now this Lozona one, you see it has some background here. So let's max that out by selecting the mask into the brush, making sure it's on black, and then we clean up there. Clean up this. Then go into the background, duplicate it, and move it towards the Lozona too so we can also fill up this area with the background let's control J and expand it this way okay this is fine this is okay I like it into Lozona 1 let's uh, use the brush and blend off this a little bit mm -hmm. It's looking off so in that we move in this background uh -huh, I think this is good we duplicate it again just to fill up my leg so going to the one below it you move it this way yes okay and then this going to the one above click on the mask so just one point this area and blend it with the background this is good this is good all right um i shouldn't be bothered here because i'll be cropping this image or see let me just fill it up ctrl j using the background below and fill up down this way still go to this mask it using the brush and brushing out this area this is perfect all right so you see this particular area i feel this background there is looking, looking a little bit off from what we have here so we go to the first background which is this um let's just uh, make use of the curve too you see make all of this go to curve um, clip it to only affect the background and we move it a little bit oh this way okay i think i like this and then go to the max invert it with ctrl i because of the background make sure the foreground background is on white and just paint back this particular area this way all right okay you can still go back to the i'll move it a little bit down you can paint off this place a little bit okay this is fine now the next thing for us to do is to crop this image uh, so let the crop and move this this way and move this this way and move this downwards and then i click on okay all right so we have our image already okay let's still move let's still crop down yeah okay this is fine let's leave it this way all right so the next thing for us to, is to match the whole area and the, the whole layers by holding down our control shift and alt and then clicking on e the whole layer is on one so you can actually close the eye of this you can still have the last work is with and then let's click on control let's convert it to smart object and then we we'll hold the control shift a to get our camera raw and we can actually tweak it a little bit let us color grade it 
so the camera is open first i like us to work on the highlights if it's too much yeah so we just keep it at let's say minus 50 okay and then we will tweak this towards the right just add a little bit of the magenta i like this oh this is fine and increase the variance a little just to add some color add some color skip it at 17 and click on ok so this is it so this is let's check on the before and after we check on the before and after this is good so this is it guys so um if you want the raw image of this so you can actually practice with me just send um go to my instagram page and send me a message and then request for this and i'll send you the raw image so you can practice with me uh or you can comment below this image telling me that you want it and i'll send it to you directly all right thank you so much for sticking around and watching my youtube tutorial please make sure you like and subscribe and then watch out for my next tutorial. Thanks.